you're a public company and looking for a way to tell your story to millions of online investors. Welcome to Agoracom, North America's largest online investor relations firm. We deliver investor relations through the web's biggest sites and search engines to help you find new investors. In addition to those websites, over 1 million investors read over 95 million pages of news and information on Agoracom this year. Agoracom, where smart public companies and investors click. Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter and Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press releases of the small cap world every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great small cap investments. Monday, November the 17th, I'm back from New York after eight days there. I'll be back to Las Vegas on Wednesday, however, for the Roth China conference. Look for my blog as I'll be posting comments from there with respect to Chinese companies. In the meantime, today I've got eight, small, eight great small cap press releases for you from both sides of the border. Lots of earnings, lots of results. Let's get straight to it. First up, Winland Online Shipping trades on the stock symbol WLOL on the OTC in the U.S. They reported uh, Q3 net income grew 40.8% on a 37% increase in revenues. This is a China-based global shipping company. We love these up-and-coming Chinese small cap companies. They also own and operate China's largest shipping website. They had substantial growth in operations uh, despite significant increases in fuel costs and the economic crisis. Gotta love when a small cap company can perform in that environment. Here's some of the numbers. Uh, revenues climbed 37% to $22.8 million for the quarter. Uh, net income grew 41% to $5.3 million for the quarter. Uh, all in, that's, point, that's a four cents per share result. Uh, the company has a fleet of 13 owned, company owned vessels, mainly in the super max and handy size category. Closed yesterday, it closed on Friday, sorry, $3.49. That's just off their low of $4.14. They've obviously performed exceptionally well uh, during this market conditions. That's W L O L on the OTC. Uh, staying with our China theme, Sancon Resources Recovery trades there on the OTC under S R R Y. They announced third quarter results as well. This is an environmental service services and waste recycling company with operations in both China and Australia. Here are the numbers. Uh, record 2008 third quarter revenue, $3.88 million. That's up 190%. Big numbers there. Uh, they're saying a lot of that is due to strong growth in China. Remember, despite the fact that China has gotten weak over the last year in terms of GDP growth, they're still hitting 6, 7, 8% numbers. Huge growth still coming out of China. Gross profit increased to just under $1.8 million. That's way up from just $420,000 for, uh, for the comparative period. Net income, a record $460,000 for the, for the quarter or two cents per share. This is compared to just $80,000 or zero cents per share uh, for the same quarter last year. Jack Chan, Sancon CEO, said this, We believe that the investments we are making in infrastructure will dovetail the Chinese government's environmental initiatives, which should support the growth in our business for the rest of the year, as well as into 2009. Great quote there. They close on Friday at $0.32. Cents. Gives a market cap about $6.5 million. Looks like great value, as always. Do your own due diligence, but looks like great value. Staying with China, China Energy Recovery trades on the OTC under CGYV. They're reporting first nine month, uh, their, their results for the first nine months of fiscal 2008 with revenue up 112%. What does this company do? Uh, they're, in, they're a leader in the waste heat recovery sector of the alternative energy industry. I'll talk about that a little bit more uh, at the end of this. Revenue uh, increased to $16 million. That's up 112%. Gross profit up 412% to $3.5 million. Net income $800,000 for the quarter. That compares to a loss of $200,000. Sorry, for the nine months. That compares to a loss of $200,000 for the same nine month period last year. So, this is a company, uh, China Energy Recovery. I'll tell you why I like this. Uh, waste recovery is going to be a very big industry. What does this mean? Their technology captures industrial waste energy uh, and brings it back into a manufacturing plant to allow them to produce low cost electrical power. This enables industrial manufacturers to reduce their energy costs, shrink 
shrink their emissions footprint and generate sellable emissions credit. It's going to be a big industry. Trust me, and China Energy Recovery looks like it's uh, executing very well. Now, one thing here, close at 158 on Friday, has a high of 12.90 and a low of just 2.5 cents. Uh, really big variance there. I'm not sure what that's about. You've got to take a closer look at that. But this puts them at a market cap of just under $5 million. If there's nothing wrong with this company, that's a great value for you. Uh, quote Media, who by, uh, by note here provides all stock quotes to Agoracom, great little company. They trade on the OC, OTC under QMC. They're reporting a 26% increase in, in revenue for third quarter and a 33% increase for the comparative nine-month period. Here are some of the numbers. Uh, third quarter revenues, $1.888 million. That's an increase, uh, uh, sorry, revenue for the nine months, uh, $5.3 million. That's an increase of 33%. Uh, net cash, very important in this environment. Net cash provided by operating activities was $380,000 for the nine months. That's way up when you compare it to last year where it looks like they had to use about $650,000 out of cash just to support, support their operations. Very important in this environment where we know financing is going to be an issue. Uh, Keith Guapa, president of the company, said this our 22nd consecutive quarter of revenue growth reflecting the strong continuing market penetration of our full line of financial data products and increasing the depth of our offerings which now cover over 70 exchanges worldwide. Now as a note here, net income, uh, they, they did suffer a loss but uh, it's down from $1.21 million last year. It's about $860,000 this year. It looks like they cut uh, losses by about 30%. Still heavy. company has only $265,000 cash in the bank right now. So you're going to have to watch this because they're in a bit of a perilous situation. If they can keep adding cash for operations, they'll be fine. Uh, but make a note of that. They closed yesterday at $0.05. Cents. Uh, that's near the bottom end of the trading range. Switching over to Canada, some big news in the resource industry. Uh, Forces Metals, FSY on the TSX, as well as F2T on Frankfurt. They're announcing that George Forest International is acquiring Forces uh, in a cash transaction that at about $580 million. The, the transaction can be done at $7 per share for each common share. Here's the good news. That's a 55% premium over uh, the last 20-day uh, average closing price for Forces and a 51% premium to their closing price on Friday. This goes with our theme that we think 2009 may be the, may be the buying opportunity of the decade. Why? You're seeing great companies uh, still have value. They're getting acquired. A lot of companies have been beaten up. Babies thrown out the bathwater. If you're investor in forces uh, and we're able to get in there over the last couple of over the last couple of months you're making upwards of 50 percent gains in great quality companies they close on friday at 464 congratulations to uh Dwayne parnham and the group over forces international tower hill mines trades on the venture under ith and in frankfurt under iw9 they're announcing uh, uh ith is announcing multi-million ounce uh gold deposit expanded by step out drilling go take a look at the results it's under gold project in Fairbanks, Alaska. Uh, it extended the higher grade core zone an additional 300 meters. Here's just one hole I want you to take a look at. Hole 0064, 161 and a half meters, 1.31 grams per ton of gold. You also had the same result in hole 71, roughly 164 and a half meters, 1.54 grams on the gold. Great results there. They closed on Friday at $1.38. Not bad considering the 52 week high is a, a 240. Uh, they definitely mitigated their losses and aren't off as far as everybody else is. That's International Tower Hill. Tai He trades on the venture under TDC. They're announcing, uh, they announce additional diamond drill hole results. This for their Goodwin Lake project in the Yellowknife gold, uh, gold Belt of Northwestern Canada. One highlight hole, as always, go take a look at all the results. Hole 005, 32.7 meters, 1.27 grams per ton. We've got a quote here from Dave Webb, uh, president of the company. These results, together with our initial four drill holes, clearly demonstrate that the VAD zone on the Goodwin Lake property represents a significant new discovery for Taihee. Wanted to make sure we got that into your hands. They're calling this a discovery. Taihee closed on Friday at 10 cents, just off their low of 8 cents, way off their high of 70 cents. Maybe good value here. And finally, Northern, Ab Northern Abitibi trades on the venture under NAI. They announced that they drilled high-grade gold at their Viking Gold property 
in Newfoundland, including 219 grams per ton over half a meter and 50 grams per ton over 3.7 meters. Go take a look at all the drill results. I'm going to give you a quote here from Dr. Shane Ebert, president of the company. To date, the widths and grades we are seeing from the Thor vein compare favorably to the operating underground gold mines in Canada, making it an exceptional exploration project. Might be early to say that, but I had to put that in your hands. They closed on Friday at eight cents, just off their low of six cents and way off their high of 37. Again, maybe good value if you believe in this space as we do in 2009. That's a wrap. As always, if you're looking to take advantage of potential stock halts in order to make some quick gains in your portfolio and be the first one to know about those, don't forget about our friends over at stockhalt.com. They'll send them to you via email, mobile, SMS. You got it. Uh, they send them to you when the companies get halted, when they start trading. Great way to potentially take advantage of the markets when they're slow and people aren't watching and make your own great profits. And don't forget about the Agoracom Marketplace. Close to 80 companies listed by industry and exchange so you can find the one best suited for your portfolio. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.